So good morning, everybody. Uh, morning prayer from the Earth Gospel, uh, excellent book, which you should get if you don't have already. Um, and today it's for Tuesday of week three. So uh, after a moment to collect our thoughts, I will begin us with an opening from Psalm 89. The heavens praise your marvels, Lord. Yours are the heavens, yours the earth. You founded the world and everything in it. The scripture reading is from Matthew 6, verses 25 to 33. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, 
you of little faith. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Go ahead, Beth. How can people see me feeding and nurturing the worm within the dry wood, pasturing the brute beasts, nourishing the fish in the sea, all the animals on the earth and the birds in the air, commanding the sun to shine on the planets and the dew to fertilize the soil, and not believe that I nourish them as well. My creatures made in my image and likeness. As a matter of fact, all this is done by my goodness to serve them. No matter where they turn, spiritually and materially, they will find nothing but my deep burning charity and the greatest, gentle, true, perfect providence. Let's take two minutes to reflect on these two really terrific readings. Thank you. So as we move into prayer this Holy Week, we remember all those who suffer all around the world, especially those suffering from war in Ukraine and other places, and for all those who've requested or need our prayers. Go ahead, Cindy. Lord Jesus, may I trust the faithfulness of your Father who feathers and feeds the birds, in the people I meet, the places I go, the food that I eat. Help me to see and hear, taste and touch the abundance of your grace within the landscape of your love. Set me free from anxiety and the burden of excess so that I may share with others the gifts I have received. Amen. Amen. And a blessing from Edmund Banyard. Holy is the soil we walk on, holy everything that grows, holy all beneath the surface, holy every stream that flows. Thanks for joining me today. I guess I should end the recording. Yeah.